Hey! In this lecture, we will introduce something we haven't discussed so far. Prediction accuracy. We just need two lines of code, which basically measures in what percentage of the cases the output of the algorithm matched the target. So, for example, in our cat-dog-horse example, the sentence would change too. In what percentage of the cases did the algorithm assign the highest probability to the output that matched the target? So, how do we do this? Let's do another throwback to our cat-dog-horse example, as you know it so well. Let's say we have four samples. The left matrix represents our outputs, while the right one, the targets. The targets are one-hot encoded. Thus, we know that the first photo is of a horse, and the next three, of cats. According to a model, the first photo has 70% probability of being a horse. We have a match! That's correct. The model recognized the animal. The second photo is of a cat, but the model predicted a dog. The output with the highest probability was the dog class. We have a mismatch. The third and fourth photos were correctly predicted. Overall, our model got three of the four photos right. Therefore, it has a 75% accuracy. That's the basic logic. So, how should we write this in code? Well, we are only interested in the highest value in a given output row. There is a function called argmax, which is spelled tf argmax, which returns the index of the largest value. What's more, we need the index by columns. As we know the first column is cat, the second one is dog, and third is horse, we can label them 1, 2, 3, or 0, 1, 2, as is the convention in computer science. tfargmax can return just that, the index of the column in which we find the highest argument. So, for the case of our outputs, we will have 2, 1, 0, 0. For our targets, the columns will be 2, 0, 0, 0. If the indices are matching, the model has predicted accurately. Otherwise, it hasn't. It's truly a true-false situation. You are correct, or you aren't. Okay, let's implement that in our problem with some coding. I'll call the variable out equals target. The method that checks if two values are equal in TensorFlow is called tf.equal. It returns a boolean, 1 if they match, or 0 if they don't. So, tf.equal of. What are we comparing again? The argmax of the outputs and the argmax of the targets. However, to show we only care about the column indices, we include a second argument to the tf.argmax function. It is 1, as 1 refers to the column axes. Alright. So, out equals target is a vector that contains 0 or 1 for each observation. 1 if it is a match, and 0 if it isn't. Then, the accuracy is the mean of that vector. We sum up all the zeros and 1s and divide them by their number. We already saw this done through the tf reduce mean method. So, accuracy equals tf reduce mean of out equals target. The out equals target is a boolean though. Depending on the programming language, this might be a problem for calculating the mean. I'll change it to float just in case. The proper method here is tfcast. tfcast has two arguments, the object in question and the data type which we want to cast it. Alright. These two lines of code will calculate the average training accuracy of the model, which will be a number from 0 to 1. Thanks for watching.